Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about planning a wedding at the Water Oasis, some of the challenges that you might face, and just the overall what to expect when hiring a DJ for your wedding. Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. We are a DJ company located in Portland, Oregon. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about a wedding venue that we do quite frequently called the Water Oasis. It's located in uh, Newburgh, Oregon. And I'm gonna give you a rundown of a typical wedding, how uh, everything is set up, where's everything located, the different parts of the property that are used for different parts of your wedding. Just kind of get basic rundown of what to expect on your wedding day. So when people first get to your wedding, the first thing that they notice is they're not sure where to go. They see this big covered area, and then they also see the ceremony site depending on where your ceremony is gonna take place. So the very first thing that we do is we usually have our big, our large room set up, set up underneath the covered area. This is called the pavilion. Uh, we're usually in one of the corners, and people when they first get there, they don't know where to set their gifts, uh, if, where to walk in, they can set their things down. So usually when they first get there, they're gonna walk underneath the covered area, they're gonna find their seats, put the gifts and cards down if they can, put down their coats, uh, grab something to drink. And we usually have everybody waiting under here until the ceremony is about to start. So we usually play some soft background music underneath the covered area before we send everybody out to the ceremony site, depending on the location. And then we'll play background music at the ceremony site. So at the Water Oasis, there's a couple different places uh, to do the ceremony. One is underneath the covered area. This usually happens if there's rain or bad weather. Then we have over kind of by the pond area, this is another ceremony site. Out of all the weddings that we do, nine times out of 10, this is gonna be the typical ceremony site. So then the third site is the meadow. Uh, we don't do a lot of ceremonies over here, but it, it creates a very nice backdrop depending on the taste and what type of ceremony feel you want to have. Now at each of the ceremony locations, we will have a completely separate setup. This is gonna be different from even the cocktail setup, which I'll go into a little bit, or the reception setup. And it just depends on what all equipment is needed for your ceremony. But it's typically gonna be a completely separate setup. We're gonna have either two lapel mics or two wireless handheld mics for you guys. You guys can choose which ones you guys need. You can use a combination of both. If we're gonna be doing the background music or if you guys are gonna have somebody like a vitamin string quartet come out there, we can also mic them up too. So that's one thing that you guys wanna share with us in our planning forms. But we can uh, incorporate different microphones depending on what your guys' needs are. May his favor be upon you in a thousand generations. I promise to be a wife in whom your heart can safely trust. So after the ceremony is done, depending on where you guys are doing cocktails, sometimes it'll kind of be out by the ceremony site or underneath the covered area. Then we can provide a separate sound system if needed, if it's in a different location. But if it's underneath the covered area, then this will be just be part of our big room setup. Now, depending on your layout and where you put the DJ, um, this can depend be dependent on our different setups that we use. But typically we're set up in the far corner over by the field and then the head table is usually in front of the fireplace and then we have the dance floor that's right in front of the open area that's right in front of the field and then we have all the tables on the other side of the room so usually what we like to do is what I call a big room setup so we'll have our speakers over by the dance floor but we don't want to pump that sound from one side all the way to the other side where it's uncomfortable for uh, the people that are closest and then you know, the bride and groom at the head table have a hard time to hear. So we'll usually do a four speaker setup. Um, this is usually required when we have more than a hundred people. So it just really depends on the room design and how many people you're gonna have at your wedding. Once the sun goes down, it's a very, very dark room. They have uh, some chandeliers that are over the middle of the covered area. 
We will dim these down a little bit for the dance party to create a nice dance atmosphere, but we usually have to do some form of supplemental lighting. We're usually gonna do some up lights or spotlights. I've also done some moving intelligent lighting. So it just depends on my clients, uh, the time of the day, what time their wedding is going to end, and then we'll come up with a lighting package that fits this room best. Uh, lighting is one thing you do not wanna skip on. It's gonna set the mood of the dance party. It's gonna make your video and your photo photos look a hundred times better. And I've been at past weddings where we've had lighting that wasn't optimal and we've had people that like trip and fall. So we wanna make sure that we create a, a nice atmosphere, one for the dance party, make sure that it looks good for your photos and make sure it's a safe environment when it comes to the dancing because people like to drink a little bit and they get a little bit clumsy and we wanna make sure that nobody has a hard time seeing. I know the younger guests won't have a problem where you get aunts, uncles and grandmas. We wanna make sure that it's optimal for them as well. Now, a lot of times at the Ward Oasis, cocktail can take place in many different locations. We have underneath the pavilion, right outside the pavilion, there is like a track road that will sometimes do a cocktail hour. And we've also done a cocktail hour down by the pond. Um, so it really just depends on your guys' taste and what all you guys have going on. But we do have the ability to do a separate cocktail setup in all these different locations, depending on what you guys feel like doing. That. So some of the other add-on features that we've done at the Water Oasis, we have also done the first dance on clouds, which is a great effect for the first dance. And then we also have done uh, cold spark entrances and exits. So this is when we bring out uh, our set of our cold spark machines. We'll set them up for the end of the first dance, the grand entrance, and then also the grand exit. So it really just depends on what you guys are looking to do, but this is a great added feature to add to your wedding.